process of smoking fish is straightforward, simple, and it involves just few steps. Now, when you get your fish direct from the core room, this is how it comes. It comes, we call it slate. So this is one slate of panla fish. When it comes like this, because of the ice, it's very hard to separate. So in this process, what is happening here, you get a knife or a very flat, sharp, um, flat object to pull out to separate the fish. So you have to be careful in separating these fish so that they are not going to get damaged and this process is not as easy as you may think but if you take your time you'll be able to do it if you've been thinking of how they roast this panda fish for business for those women that sell in the market this is how they roast the panda fish now i was told you have to make sure you remove you separate the fish you separate and you now put it inside water when the ice dissolve or when the ice melts off it will not be easy for you to roast the fish so what they do is they quick immediately they get home or get to the shop from the core room they start the process of separating the fish and as they separate the fish they have a water beside them that they've already had salt sorry i didn't show you the part they were adding the salt sorry so they add little salt to the water and as they separate the fish they put it as a in form of soaking it inside that water so that it will have salt it will contain salt so that is what they are doing right now in the process of smoking other fish like the normal catfish you have to go through the process of removing the gills cutting out the bone by the side before you can roast it but for this pala fish it does not need those process you don't need to go through the process of maybe fish that has a um, scale it does not have scale so it's just that is why this fish is unique on its own in Nigeria. You don't go through any form of removing the gills or removing any scale from the fish skin. All you just need to, immediately you pull it out from separate the fish. You just soak it in the salt water and you start the process of roasting. If you are starting this panla fish business, you have to make sure that you get it in bulk. That is one slate. If you are trying, there are some women, if you're not financially buoyant, you can get to the core room and collide with two or three women. You can share one slate. But for more profit, you don't need to share. You just go ahead. With one slate, you're going to make money. You're going to make your profit. And this is a very unique business you can do at the comfort of your home, in your house, that you're going to make your profit after roasting. And you advertise, you take it out, you tell people you have this fish. If you can go through the stress of pulling the fish, separating the fish, because I was actually feeling some uh when it comes to the way it was so block it has eyes every is eyes so you can see it's not easy to separate the fish time is after nine and if you know you won't like this type of business you want to buy this panda fish you have to go to the core room as early as eight seven in the morning because once you don't get there in time you might not get um, this panla fish. The next step you are going to is to shape the fish the way you want it to be. So you are going to be folding the fish and you, they need just simple method but if you don't know how to fold it or you've not seen where they fold this panla fish it might be a little bit difficult. Why I'm showing you this process is because you can do this at the back of your house. It's not all the time you go to the market and buy this panla fish. With the economic situation of the country you can just simply do this at the back of your house and one beautiful thing about this fish is it can be preserved without refrigerator all you just need is 
after smoking this fish make sure it's so dry you can just keep it the next day you are also just eat it up again and before you know it it can last two three four a month with you at home so that is the purpose of our video today so this is how simple how easy all you just need to do you open the mouth uh pull push in the tail then if it's not being or the, if it's not staying so firm you use a small stick to just hold it tight just to make sure that the tail is not pulling out from the mouth of the fish so when you continue with this process it's going to give you that perfect shape you don't need any special skill to fold the fish so that is what we're going so now i'm going to be answering this woman question hello everyone welcome to another beautiful video today's video we're talking about how to roast pala fish the normal sweet pala fish and this is the wonderful woman that is roasting and selling this pans pala fish this is what she does here in ibado and as you know i make content on market vlog and businesses in Ibado. So she's making panla fish for business. And this is how she does it. I'm going to be asking her some few questions and I know she's going to be telling you more about panla fish. And if you're interested, if you want her to roast fish for you, you can, I'm going to put her number in the description box. You can get her contact and um, you get in touch with her. She's going to roast your fish for you. You are going to like it, but let's start asking us a few questions. Errora ma. Okay, ma. Um, ekushema. Yes. Mori beshe you eja bere she ti uka eja ejo. Mo koko fe bere oru eja olele. Manla. One eja manla. Mo de mo pe one so pe panla ori she meji lo da biko wa one pe koni panla o panla ori she meji. Panla ori kuwa. Pala Okay. I've been asking her concerning this panla fish. I'm asking her the type of panla we have. That is this type of fish. She said we have three types, and she mentioned the three types speaking Yoruba. So the one she's doing now is called panla also, which she usually sell and like i was told panla so is sweeter than every other panla so she make me to understand that she does if there's customer because with the economic situation of the country she's just doing only one slit that she does do three four in a day but with the things with what is happening in the country she has reduced to just one slit of panla that is what she's doing for today so i had to stay with her to for us to learn from her how to do roast this panla fish so i asked her how does she feel concerning her hand that is <laughs> dipping your hand inside because the water is very very cold some has been folded and um, they're going to be laying it to 
the heat has been done already. Oh. So they are using the big drum. Shoni special with Emma Fitu, I beg Mama Kole Lori. Okay. These ones are the ones that she has a leftover and having the leftover she just put them by the side she's going to resell them as time goes on so these are the fresh ones she's just putting on it now For you to get a perfect result in roasting panla fish, you have to make sure that even before the ice melts from the fish, it has to be arranged on it. So when I ask her, why is she folding here continuously because she has started folding initially so what she does is she brings the ones she has fold the folded ones bring it here and soak the other fish inside that salt water so so i'm they are arranging the fish this is how they arrange the fish and um, you have to be skilled in arranging it you don't just pack everything on it i think there's a special way you're going to arrange this fish so that's what we are doing right now we are arranging the fish to roast the fish now staying close to this smoke is not easy because the smoke was much and this is the remaining fish they have to now pack them inside the salt water and make sure it is soaked and they will be able to fold Another thing is, once the ice, once it has not melt off at all, it's going to break into two. So they just make sure that the ice melt away, not so much, a little. Then the folding of the panla fish will be more easy for someone to fold if you want to soak your panla fish. So this is the remaining panla. We are, they are soaking the remaining ones inside water before she come around to fold the panla fish this is the most traditional method of roasting fish but you can use your charcoal oven you can use your oven to achieve a perfect fish roasting she has to be very fast and very close to the heat so that as soon as the fish is getting on the gloss it's going to start getting dry and because when i asked her she said once the eyes melt off completely from that fish you won't be able to achieve the roasting of this fish so if you're doing this at home take caution or caution because she was born into roasting of fish like she told me and she's used to um the folding and every other thing that comes with the stress of roasting of fish so if you're starting it for the very first time or you don't have idea of how you can undo it. I think you can use hand glove. You can get a hand glove that you can use to get used to this uh, process. Then get it close to the heat because I was very close to the heat and I was not feeling so comfortable standing around here because this thing was really very very hot. So you can also try as much as possible if you're starting for the very first time. Make sure you're able to use. Um, a, a tools that will enable you to be able to um, pull things together like i was asking that uh, can one fold it fold everything at once in a big bath then you come down and start arranging she said yes but she's because she's used to she's used to arranging direct putting it even folding when she's standing close to the fire she's used to it so it's not affecting her at all 
And when you look at the next thing we are going to be looking at is how she set the fish. You can't just put the fish just anyhow. She has a special way she's arranging the fish so that the heat can go around the whole fish. So, she, like I was told, she arranged them, making sure that the down, that is like the back of the fish, is the one facing the heat, while the upper part is facing up. So she's doing this and she's folding and arranging like I've said earlier because that is how she not to do it best. But if you don't can't do it that way, you can just fold it in a pack, put it inside a big container or big bath, then you arrange your fish. This is something you can start at home and make money this year, even with the cost of hike. In price of things, you can still make something out of it. And when it comes to usage of firewood, this is the firewood she's using. She tries much. She told me that the fire shouldn't be much so that it will not burn the fish. So it's a very little eat. And she has well adjusted. So she was telling me if the firewood is getting too much, she just pulled it out to reduce the rate at which the heat is coming is coming in contact with the fish. So interesting to know that this is what she's feeding her family with, as in the money she's making from this fish, that is what she's using in taking care of the home. So you can see that it's a very lucrative business that one can what venture into. And this is the fish it has been well arranged. She has arranged everything. And this is how it looks like after you've arranged. Though she knows um, in one slate that it can contain um, these round gloves. A fish is ready. Look at how beautiful, how yummy this pala fish looks like. Now, everything is not ready or everything has not really changed color so like she told me what she does is she'll start changing maybe those parts that is colored that is that is getting brown which means they are getting ready so those other side that has not changed she's going to interchange them and those ones that are ready she'll just put them in one side maybe the heat is not getting so close to it so one beautiful thing about this fish you can use this fish to cook your goosey soup uh, you can use this fish for your stew. You can use this fish in cooking of your ogbolo soup. There's no nothing it does, especially when it comes to sauce. It's very good for sauce because it's not bony. Most of all, uh, there are other fishes that um, has bone that um, children cannot eat. But one interesting thing about this fish, it does not have bone. It has bone, but it's not so much. So it's easy for your children to eat it, and it's very good. For you to use this for your stew so that is one beautiful thing about this cod fish and this is cod fish you can find it anywhere in nigeria it's a fish that is available you can get it wherever you are and with the economic situation of the country this fish i can say is i think i can call it the cheapest and it has its own unique taste when it comes to fish like she mentioned that they have three types of this type of fish and the most people always hang for oloso that is a pala oloso which i believe it has a unique taste when you are cooking with it so this is our pala oloso and today i'm bringing to you how to prepare this if you're watching the Jalakwe space for the very first time please subscribe to my youtube channel and if it's your first time watching me on my youtube please don't forget to click on the subscribe button so that i'm going to bring in more content to you so as we have now this has been arranged this is how it's been arranged and after it has been arranged i'm going to leave it for some time to work to roast so subsequently she told me she'll be turning them around to make sure that they are all going to get ready at the same time it's a long process it's not something you're just going to do in one minute but we, no matter how long it's going to take she's she does it well i've seen her a couple of times i bought fish and i know that this is a unique fish so if you're thinking of going into this type of business is a very pretty business that you can make millions from so let's continue as we continue to roast our fish
that is how the panda fish looks like after it has been on it for the past three hours i hope you have learned how to make panla how to roast panla fish thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe like i share till i see my next video bye